live from Coral Springs, Florida. We welcome you to Coral Springs Charter School. My name is Ryan Stout alongside Mike Higgins today. First ever high school pregame during school hours. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We are live and the lights are on and we got a whole lineup of fall sports that is coming your way. This is the High School Sports Review Show brought to you by HSPN and you're watching it on CoralSpringsTV.org. We welcome you and we are glad to be in Coral Springs today. Like I said, we got a big lineup coming your way. I'm here with Mike Higgins, the Athletic Director. And uh, Coach, number one, just thank you for letting us come out here today. Thank you guys for coming out. We appreciate support and everything you guys have been doing. Absolutely. Well, we've had a long fall football season. Uh, we've been covering games from Broward to Dade County uh, with HSPN Sports. They've done some outstanding things, putting a spotlight on these student athletes. We had a chance to spotlight Coral Springs Charter three times. First time we came out, I believe it was St. Andrews High School. Um, the last one we covered, you all watched, and with your support, it was put on Westminster Academy. Took uh, Coral Springs Charter, the Panthers, to the first football championship, and that brings us here today, not only to set off this pregame, but to cover all the sports that are involved. And Coach, I mean, where do you begin with the success of the programs? I mean, we're talking, I had a chance to talk to the coaches, Mr. Nelson, uh, with the bowling, Martin with the, with the bowling, um, from swimming to, to cross country. The success is overwhelming. Um, where, where does it come from? I think it's a culmination of leadership from all the way up top from Charter Schools USA mm -hmm. all the way down to our leader, which is Mr. Gary Springer. Mm -hmm. uh, I think if he didn't have this vision, um, none of this would be taking place. Uh, he's very supportive of athletics, and he knows what you know how important athletics is. And he knew before he hired me how important it was to myself as well. Right. Well, you've uh, had the amazing opportunity to see the programs evolve. I mean, as we sit here in the lounge, I can look up at uh, pictures of former athletes and former athletes that are going to be joining us today. Um, later on once we get into that pep rally for football but I mean outstanding athletes coming through this program um, academics I mean a school uh, like you said Mr. Gary Springer just the leadership it, it just sinks down to the bottom and it shows uh, with these athletic programs but what we wanted to do in this intro is we're going to bring you coaches head coaches from each fall sports we're gonna review and we're gonna have some special interviews uh, with some young ladies and some young men that are going to talk about their experiences this so far in this fall season. And some of the coaches couldn't make it today. So we wanted to throw it over to Mr. Mike Higgins and say, you know, we've had some outstanding things with the swimming team, uh, Georgia Montano, and also some great uh, cross country records uh, with uh, Kate Hearn. So I wanted to throw it your way and just kind of review how the, the season's been going. Yeah, um, you know, swimming doesn't always get the recognition of a lot of the other sports as well as, you know, any other sport in the fall other than football. Right. So we wanted to take this opportunity to highlight not only the sports, the tremendous job that the cheerleaders do and uh, the coaches, and I think it all starts with that. And uh, I'm excited because I really feel like we hire quality people. Mm -hmm. They're not on the clock. They, you know, they're excited to work with young people and uh, – our swim team, I just spoke with uh, Coach Tolomeo about a half hour ago. He told me, now we sent six kids up there and they're doing fantastic. They qualified for the final rounds. Uh, we had one, uh, Stephanie, Camp Stephanie Campo, who uh, is going to UMass. She wow. She'll be signing with UMass. That's UMass. That, that sounds familiar. Yes. There's a young man in here somewhere that went to UMass, Mr. Antoine. Antoine Tharp, yeah. yes. Know him very well. <laughs> <laughs> but um, also want to highlight, um, you know, Stephanie, uh, Jillian Alexander, Delaney Byro, Rebecca Wilkerson, John Carlo Pamps, and Tyler Tolomeo made that trip as well. Okay. And uh, we'll find out their results a little bit later. Well, I mean, that's outstanding. Uh, we're so proud of them and, and the hurdles that they've overcome. Like you said, you know, we've, uh, we've been covering football for the past two years now in South Florida, and we've uh, featured some other sports, girls flag football, softball, um, some basketball games, but this is uh, an awesome time for us to be able to come in and feature these other sports that sometimes get overlooked. So congratulations, you guys, if you get to tune in 
uh, sometime today, but good luck. And um, I also know uh, Cross Country has done some outstanding things. Yes, well. yes, they're a very young team. I know Coach Hearn did a great job with them. I believe our boys also made it to the uh, state meet. And uh, she's looking for great things with them. And she wanted me to highlight Lachlan Shiver. I guess he did a great job for her as well. Um, and volleyball. volleyball. They made it to the district semifinals with a very young team. Okay. And uh, Coach Peggy Randolph, mm -hmm. she's a second-year coach doing a great job. And, you know, all our fall programs, all, all, I'm just very proud of all of our coaches. Um, they, they just do a great job with these kids. And, you know, it's not about the clock, how many hours they put in, because I think I pay them about a, a nickel an hour. <laughs> but, uh, no, they're very passionate. We're very proud. Bowling, unbelievable. The past two seasons since they've had a district in Broward County, we've won, won both boys' and girls' district championships. Yeah. Outstanding. We're looking forward to covering that. We're looking forward um, to seeing the results to swimming and, and these other fall sports that are wrapping up. Once again, uh, from Coral Springs, Florida, we are here in Coral Springs Charter. This is Mike Higgins, the athletic director. Coach, once again, we thank you for letting us come out. And uh, we're excited for the game tomorrow. We've got a big game tomorrow. Unfortunately, we won't be able to cover it. But we got some big things in store. Yeah, and I say football for last because you know how passionate I am about that football team. Uh, I started here 14 years ago as the head football coach, and it's just it's been a long haul. But uh, it's just so exciting to see us finally get to the big championship Absolutely. game, and uh, you know we're all as a school very proud of them. Absolutely, we're looking forward to covering it once again, ladies and gentlemen. We're kicking off this. Eventful day is what we want to call it. High school game day brought to you by HSPN Sports. This is CoralSpringsTV.org and we are live in Coral Springs Charter. We're going to take a quick break and when we come back we are bringing on the district champs boys and girls bowling team. Stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are high school game day bringing you the pregame to tomorrow's championship with the football but got some special guests with us today we're in Coral Springs Charter and you had a chance to see Mr. Mike Higgins athletic director and before we start this segment we're going to introduce um, these bowlers these fantastic bowlers in a second a second but we want to give a shout out um, to all of our bloggers that have brought us all the support this season uh, we would not be where we are today without you guys so bleacher.com uh, with all of our graphics, the graphics that you see today, the graphics that you have seen all season uh, that have been provided, the high school game day. Uh, so Bleacher.com, we give you a shout out. Also, social media, this guy's got all the stats. He brings up the conversations, FloridaHighSchoolFootball.com, which is FloridaHSFootball.com. We give you thanks from that website, Mr. Josh Wilson, all your support, and also Florida Varsity, FloridaVarsity.com, also known as Rivals. Uh, Mike will give you a shout out for streaming um, today's uh, broadcast as well. So not only are you guys getting coverage from Coral Springs, locally, nationally, statewide, we're all around the world, guys. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna introduce the first ever bowlers on the network, Mr. Ryan Hernandez and Pablo Cerda. Guys, how you doing? Good. You doing, doing good? good? Bring that mic up for me. Good. Ryan, oh, we're going to start with you, Ryan. I, like I said, this is my first time ever covering anything bowling before. So I talked to your coach, Coach Martin, and district champs. Let's talk about that. District champs this year. You, it was this year, right? You guys won a district championship? Yep. Tell me, tell me a little about the district championship and, and how you guys got there. Well, we pretty much just got there by just doing our best and what, what we can do. Now, Ryan, I don't know, you know, this is the first time we, we got a chance to meet. Um, let's talk about what grade are you in? I'm in 10th grade. 10th grade, a sophomore. Have you been bowling? Uh, how long have you been bowling? About eight years. Eight years. And for an athlete, um, you know, like I said, we don't, we don't know much about bowling, but we are interested to be educated on bowling. Uh, I go bowling on the weekend sometimes. Uh, I guess, th does that count? You know, I bowl maybe, I think I broke a 200 once. But what inspires someone like yourself to, to say, you know what, I want to I take this farther than just recreation. How'd you get into bowling? Usually by just playing uh, 
leagues and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. then as soon as I got into that, I went into uh, like tournaments and like and then high school bowling. Yeah. What's your average score from bowling? Usually like 198 on some leagues and sometimes lower on others. Okay. Now you guys had a chance to play locally. Um, you won the district championship. Tell us a little bit about your experience going up. I believe it was Orlando, was it? Yeah. You went up to Orlando. I know it was, it was a little tougher um, than, than the regular season. Tell us a little bit about what happened up in Orlando. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to explain. Like we we always try, but it just gets tougher with with such good opponents mm-hmm. compared to districts. I mean, everybody's good. It's just that they're more experienced. Now, Ryan, do you want to take uh, bowling to the collegiate level? Do you see yourself um, taking this sport to further your education? Yeah. I want to try to get scholarships in the bowling and maybe become a pro. Are there any schools? What are some of the top schools uh, for those that don't know, maybe in bowling? I know uh, football, for example, is the SEC. Everybody wants to go to a, a Southeastern Tech Conference school. Are there any specific schools um, that are the bowling schools, you would say? Oh, I'm not quite sure. Okay. Are there? Any- you can say uh, like Weber or Lindenwood or... <clears throat> Schools like that, they have like a big bowling type of um, team, and they're, I mean, they're really good. I mean, if you always see the collegiate um, shows for bowling, you always see maybe Weber or someone from Lindenwood, maybe like that, so. Now, this is Pablo. Pablo stole the mic from Ryan. It's okay. (laughs) It's okay. We were going to transition anyway. Pablo Cerda, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, what grade you're in. I'm a senior, and... I mean, I've been bowling a long time, like ever since I was very little until I broke my arm. But then in 2010, mm-hmm. I got really serious into bowling. So You didn't break your arm bowling, did you? No, I broke my arm okay. doing soccer. Okay, I was going to say, it's, it sounds like a dangerous sport. Yeah. Now let's talk about a little bit to promote yourself. What's your average score? Um, for league, for a house shot would be 220. Okay. And then for a recreational shot, it would be, I think, 198, 199. Okay. And senior year, have you been playing, or have you been participating on the bowling team uh, oh, yeah. all four years? Yes. Okay. How, how have you seen it progress since freshman year? From, from year to year, I always practice. I mean, of course, during the in between, in between season. Mm-hmm. So I, get, I would get like better and better throughout the years like from soft from uh from my freshman year i mean i first started so i was a little nervous Mm -hmm. sophomore year i won the districts Mm -hmm. that year because i mean i improved myself and then going from there we won this we won districts as a team and then this year won individual and 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 states and districts together that's a heck of an accomplishment oh yeah and um as a senior next year the big question is now what i just want to really get into college i mean if i find a college that has bowling then i'm all for it but i mean education always comes first okay so bowling for me for college would be a big plus okay so yeah well congratulations guys on a great year i'm sorry you didn't come home uh with the the big championship you know it it was it was tough but hey you know you win some you lose some there's not always next year for some seniors, yeah. but uh, Ryan and Pablo, we thank you for coming on the network today. We're glad that uh, you had a chance to spotlight yourself. And ladies and gentlemen, once again, from Coral Springs Charter, we welcome you to high school pregame. Hyping up the game tomorrow, Charter is going to the championship. Hopefully, they can bring home one of those trophies like you guys did. Oh, yeah. So thank you guys for coming on. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We're coming back. we got some more bowlers coming your way. Welcome back, Coral Springs Charter School. My name is Ryan Stout, and we are featuring the programs, the very successful programs at Coral Springs Charter. We got some more bowlers on deck. The girls bowling, district champs 2014. We have Harmony and Larkin in the hot seat. The lights are on. We're all kind of nervous, but we're going to get it out of us. Harmony, let's start. Let's start off with you. You got the mic in your hand. Um, What grade are you in? 
I'm in eighth grade. Eighth grade? Yeah. In middle school on the varsity bowling team. It's pretty surprising. How is that? How does that work? Tell, tell me about that. Um, well, especially like when we do competitions, competing against like high schoolers, and even though you're just in middle school, mm -hmm. even though you're like put in that tough position with all that pressure, it actually is beneficial to me because mm -hmm. it means I have to work a little bit harder and push myself a little bit more to beat them so I can be on top, number one. I love it, I love it, worded perfectly. And for those that don't know too much about Coral Springs Charter, um, it is a middle and high school. So for those of you that are wondering, what the heck, eighth graders, what are they doing in high school? Well, we got the middle school and the high school connected. So eighth grader on the varsity team, you guys won the district championship this year. Talk about the feelings. How awesome is that? Um, especially for me, it was, um, like nerve wracking and shaking a lot because mm -hmm. you know I want to be successful I want my team to be successful mm -hmm. I just want you know to be good but it's like really hard when you have like probably better competition mm -hmm. and a lot of people to like participate and beat against right. so it's like you know do well but use, use yourself a little yeah. just so you don't overthink yourself yeah how how do you think you've progressed during this season from beginning to end um, I think I did phenomenally, like a good progression. That's awesome. Better than beginning of the year, you know, beginning, I might have missed a few spares here and there. Okay. Like, even still do, but I feel like I progress more in that okay. area most of the time. Well, for those that don't know too much about bowling, what's an average score for um, a girl bowler? An average score can be around maybe 120 and higher. Okay. Um, I know a lot of great girl bowlers. They bowl really much higher than that. But okay. if you have to like put an average, maybe 120 to you know, 160, averagely. Now, what got you into bowling? Um, see, as a young child, I had like really bad allergies, so okay. I couldn't like go outside and you know do soccer, or softball, mm -hmm. or anything like that. So like my mom tried to find something where it was like indoors and bowling was an indoor sport. Okay. So that was a bonus. And plus she didn't want me to like keep laying around on Saturday saying, oh, what are we going to do next? What are we going to do next? Um, so she put me in this program at six years old. Okay. Straight first thing in kindergarten. So it's pretty okay. cool. That is pretty cool. I would never have known. Um, the biggest question for me, um, I bowl for recreation you know, purposes. And to see that there are athletes in place, I actually went to college, uh, a school that had a bowling team and student athletes were there on full rides. I mean, getting a free education. If I knew, I probably would have bowled in high school, but you know, hey, I get to watch you guys do it. So we got Harmony. Now we're gonna go to Larkin. Okay. Larkin, am I pronouncing that correctly? Yes. Okay, Larkin. And what grade are you in? I'm in seventh. Seventh grade. Yeah. Varsity bowling team. A high school varsity bowling team and we got an eighth grader and a seventh grader. Yeah. Now can you do you think um, that you and Harmony kinda feel the same way? Um, yeah, definitely. We definitely so. both feel the same way. I'm definitely very grateful that I was accepted onto the team with all these amazing bowlers on the girls team and we definitely have big shoes to fill mm -hmm. because of last year. Now how long have you been bowling? This is actually my first year. Okay. Yeah. First year ever bowling? Yeah. Well I did do some duck pin in the past. And duck pin. You lost me on that one. Duck pin, it's, it's very popular in the north mm -hmm. where I'm from and pretty much everything's half size. Okay. So I used to play that a lot. Okay. And I don't think you had a chance to say what grade you were in. I mean, oh, you did. You did say yeah. it. I, I'm, I'm losing my mind now. Now, talk a little about um, the district championship. How did you feel? Districts was definitely, like she said, very stressful for us because we're such a young team and going up against like Coral Glades with Christina and okay. Katie and a lot of the other teams, they're all high school seniors and they're really, really good. So it was just very exciting. Okay. For us. And do you see bowling taking you? Um, through high school and maybe college? Hopefully, yes, because I have great coaches, friends, you know, always pushing me forward. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you hear it here first. We're at Coral Springs Charter High School in Coral Springs, Florida. This is high school game day. Getting ready for the big game tomorrow, but cannot overlook the other fall sports. 
we have gone through bowling, you got to see the boys team and the girls team. This is Larkin and Harmony. Eighth grade and seventh grade, doing it big on the varsity level, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned with us because we have more athletes coming our way. We are back live here at Coral Springs Charter, wrapping up today. We're taking you back to school. We got kids walking in and out. We got science projects going on outside, but most importantly, we're covering the sports programs at Charter today. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to some of the wonderful cheerleaders that bring the spirit to the game, football, basketball. Do you guys cheer for bowling at all? You don't cheer for bowling? Just competition? Okay, so this is how we're gonna do it. We got Kelsey and we got Kiana. Kiana, you got the mic, you're in the hot seat yeah. first. Let's see what you got. So Kelsey, what grade are you in? Kiana. Uh, <laughs> see, I'm okay. all mixed up. I'm a senior. You're a senior. Yes. Now I see you have the captain. Yeah. You got the captain. How? What does it take to be a captain, cheerleader for Coral Springs Charter? Um, it definitely takes leadership, um, responsibility, just motivation. Everything mm -hmm. it takes to be a captain. How long have you been cheering for? Um, since I was in seventh grade, and okay. I came to the school here. So you've been here for since seventh grade. Yeah. Wow, what's that like going from middle, the transition from middle to high school that most, I, would, I wouldn't say most, but a lot of kids don't get to experience? Um, you definitely get a better bond with everyone. You get to grow up with all of your peers and mm -hmm. it's nice. <laughs> now for those that don't think cheerleading is a sport, yeah. <laughs> what do you have to say to them appropriately? What do you have to say to them? I know sometimes um, it can cause some tension. Don't judge a book by its cover. Okay. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> well, we've done cheerleading competitions in the past. We did the BCAA cheerleading competitions um, in January down at Dillard High School. And I'll tell you one thing, outstanding. I mean, from the stunts to the flips to the cartwheels, I don't know if I'm using the correct terminology, you are. <laughs> but talk a little bit about competition and just what goes in behind the scenes outside of the games. Um, definitely a lot of practice takes a lot of hard work and dedication just uh, yeah a lot of practice <laughs> now i know you guys went i can't think of the date you guys went to uca a camp a cheerleading yes. camp um i got a chance to read about it and some of the awards winning ribbons and um one of my favorite quotes on there was lifetime of memories and i wanted to ask you guys what your thoughts were about going off to a camp and you know talk about the bond that was created well, we spent about eight hours a day cheering, um, working on new things, and just getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. We spent all day together, we roomed together, we got to bond after, so we definitely got a lot closer. Now, Kiana, this is Kiana, <laughs> now we have Kelsey, another captain yeah. on the cheer squad. Kelsey, uh, talk a little bit about, I hear the band, they're already getting hyped up. We have the game tomorrow. Uh, what are some of the things that you guys are going to be doing in the gym today? Um, today we're having like a mini pep rally for the players. Um, we all just come together, try to like pump them up and wish them good luck. Now, do you prefer competitions or going out there in you know games and, and doing that type of stuff? I don't know. I can't really pick between the two. Um, I like them both. Competing, I feel, is more like adrenaline, and then mm -hmm. football, like it's towards the end of the season, so I'm ready to like get into the competition season. But yeah. I like them both. Now, as a captain. Uh, what grade are you in? 12th. 12th grade, yeah. senior year. Last year, what are you trying to do this year competition-wise for cheerleading? What's the goal? Have fun. Have fun. I mean, I definitely want to like get closer as a team and work our way up to states and hopefully win. Okay. Yeah. Now, do you see cheerleading at the college level? Hopefully. Um, it'd be awesome if I could, yeah. What are some of the top schools, if you know? I'm not sure of any of the top schools uh, that, that compete. UCF is really good. Yeah, UCF. they're really competitive. Okay. They have a co-ed team also, so hopefully like, that'd be a cool thing to do. Get some of the guys out there. Yeah. Lift you up. <laughs> and those guys are strong. Right, yeah. Uh, and that's what I try to tell people. I mean, I don't have enough experience on the cheerleading side, um, but those, those that say cheerleading is not a sport, there's a lot that goes into it. I mean, flexibility. I mean, when we do our broadcasts, we actually covered you guys during the games, the football games. I had to come over and tell your coach, hey, scoot over so we can get you on camera. And also, you can check out those games, uh, any of the Coral Springs Charter games on hsbnsports.com. You can go back in the archives. Not only do you get to see the games, but you get to see Kiana and Kelsey <laughs> as well, the two captains. Thank you so much, girls, for coming on. Thank the show you. Today. And uh, 
we are going to see if we can get into the pep rally with a camera and see some of the moves go down. So ladies, thank you for coming on once again. And also, we can't wait to see what tomorrow brings. So good luck tomorrow. Thank you. And good luck in competitions. Hopefully we'll catch up with you guys. Absolutely. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Coral Springs Charter, we got the cheer squad, the ones that hold the teams together, that bring the hype to the game. We are here in Coral Springs, Florida. I'm Ryan Stout, and we're gonna be back with some tall volleyball girls. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Got some volleyball players for you here at Coral Springs Charter. Getting ready for the pep rally. We got the band in the background. We got kids running all over the place. I guess they're doing a science experiment. And we have Susanna and Taylor yes. on the mic. Susanna, you are first. Yes. You are Susanna Rowan. I can pronounce that last <laughs> name. Susanna, what position do you play? What grade are you in? Go ahead and introduce yourself. All right, well, I'm a senior and I'm a right side. And yeah. So that makes you a hitter. Yes, right side hitter, front row. Now, what I know about volleyball mm -hmm. is you guys are positioned by numbers. Right. And during the game, the ball's going up in the air, and you're saying four, 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 and three, three, all this stuff. Yeah, those are usually plays. Like, I'm going to hit an eight on the right side. Taylor's going to hit a five on the outside. So, okay. Yeah. So, as a hitter, what, what is your job specifically? Uh, as a hitter, you're basically just trying to, you know, finish the play out and get the ball down on the other side of the court. Now, my question is, have you ever spiked it and it hit someone in the face? Oh my gosh, I wish I could say I have. <laughs> no, but I think Taylor did actually this year. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty now, interesting. Susanna, how long have you playing, been playing volleyball? Um, I've been playing six, since the sixth grade. Yeah. 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 How, how have you seen yourself progress since then? I'm well, sure you've gotten a little definitely, taller. Yeah, definitely taller and definitely just getting a feel for the game, you know, being smarter with, you know, your touches and just, you know, learning the game more and understanding it. And what's the passion behind it? Did your family play or is it just something you picked up? Honestly, I just picked it up and then I really liked it and just got into it and really enjoyed the game and the competition. And have you been at Charter uh, since middle school as well? No, I actually moved here sophomore year. Sophomore year. Yeah. Where are you originally from? Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. You don't talk like you're from Georgia. No, no, I didn't get an accent. Okay, well, you're one of the lucky ones. I'm just kidding. I lived in Georgia okay. at one time in my life. So oh, wow. I had a bit of an accent when I came home. Oh, my gosh. So, as a hitter, and you, did you say you're a senior? Yeah, I'm a senior. A senior. What are your plans outside of the season? The season's over. The season's over. I know you want to go back. And if you could do it again, Definitely. I would do it like this. But what are the plans after? Um, After just play beach, you know, just do it for fun, just recreationally. I'm not, you know, going to the collegiate level or anything, but um, yeah, just do it for fun. Okay. Miss Taylor in the hot seat. Oh, Haller. That's oh, it, Halloran. Right? Oh, Halloran. Yeah. Okay. I, I told her I it's was okay. going to let her pronounce it. Taylor, are you also a senior? Yes. A senior athlete, outstanding size. I, I love being around volleyball players because you guys just look like athletes, as well as <laughs> basketball players. We got some basketball players in the back that, that are coming on next. So Taylor, talk a little about yourself. Uh, you're a senior. How long have you been at the school? I've been here since sixth grade Okay. and I'm also an outside hitter, not a right side hitter. Outside hitter? Yes. Now the difference, you got, you got to help us out. It's on the left side. Yeah. It's just not on the left side? Yeah, and it's, okay. more, it's more of like a fast and a little higher. No, a little higher, more push ball. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's more push. How is it? How, what's, What's the relationship like with your setter? Is that your best friend on the court? I mean, we're best friends. Yeah. So, but with your setter, you have to have really good communication. Like, it has to be on point for you to get that great kill. Okay. Now, this season so far, um, you guys, I believe, went into... Um, we went into semis. Semifinals? Yeah. yeah, we went into semifinals. Went to semifinals. How do you think the season went for you, uh, individually and also as a team? Um, we had a great season, honestly. Like we had a lot of younger girls, mm -hmm. but they did really good, and we didn't think we'd make it that far. And we did really good. Wow. Independent, or as an individual, how do you think you progressed this season? Um, I think I did a lot better because I used to pl I played club, okay. and it was more of a job because it was really like really time consuming, and okay. it was just fun, and we all had fun, and I had a lot of fun. So now future plans, senior. The big question is what next. What next? What next? Have you thought about it? If you have, what's plan A? What's plan B? What's plan C? Um, Am I putting you on the spot now? College, honestly. Okay. That's the only thing on my mind. Okay. Any colleges in particular? No, I have 
applied to all the Florida schools, okay. and I applied a couple places in New York because I would really like to go to New York, but okay. I don't know yet. Well, that's awesome. Well, yeah. you guys had an awesome year. I'm, I'm so glad. Congratulations for having such Thank a great you. year. Um, hopefully, we see you again. Uh, club, I don't know uh, the whole routine or how that works, but beach volleyball, we may see you out on the beach. Who knows? <laughs> But congratulations. Thank you so much for coming Thank on. You. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's awesome being able to spotlight the, the diversity of the programs to go to Coral Springs Charter. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, we got Taylor and Susanna on the varsity volleyball team. Both seniors love the game of volleyball. They had an outstanding season. And we will be right back because we got two young ladies that look like they're about to dunk on me. Got some basketball players coming your way. Stay with us. Coral Springs Charter, thank you so much for having HSBN Sports and also streaming on CoralSpringsTV.org. We want to thank all of our, all of our uh, bloggers out there today, Florida High School Football, Bleacher.com, and also Florida Varsity for streaming this as well as the other platforms. Thank you for tuning in with us so far. We have had a plethora of student athletes um, that we are highlighting today in preparation for tomorrow's big game. These two girls might be at the game. They won't be on the field, but I'll tell you one thing. They will be on the hardwood sometime next week. You guys just kicked off your season. We have Miss Jamie and Miss Kat. I got their names right. They are the Williams sisters, and they are the bigs for Gold Springs Charter girls varsity basketball team. Girls, thank you for coming on today. Thank you. Now, Jamie, we're going to start with you. Okay. Now, you're a senior. Yes. It's been a long four years, right? Yeah. It's been a long four years at Coral Springs Charter? Yes. Okay, so at Coral Springs Charter, um, what are some of the successes um, that you've had individually um, and as a team? Well, as a team, my freshman year, the team went to states and we made it to the summer, I mean, the quarter, quarter finals. The quarter finals. At states. And then my sophomore year, we made it to uh, semifinals at states, but we fell short. And then last year we just we couldn't finish, and we ended up at regionals. Um, and this year we're we're a whole new team because we lost a lot of our key players. But um, we're we're gonna have fun this year. Yeah. And individual, like personally, um, I've definitely improved over the last few years because I've had great coaches to help me. Now you guys started the season this past week. Yes, I had a chance to peek in the Calvary game. And I believe you won that game. No. You didn't? No. It's been a rough start. Yes. How do you see that rough start transitioning into a better start? Well, there's no nowhere else up. Nowhere, no way. Nowhere else to go but up. Yeah. Up, gotcha. <laughs> up from here. <laughs> up from here. Okay, so where do you see, um, how do you see yourself fitting into that equation to say, okay, this is what I need to do as an individual to uh, better the program this year? Well... Being a captain for the first time, I think that I'm going to be a leader and, like, teach people, like, our players how to, like, be a team and, like, help each other out so that we get our wins and succeed this year. Mm -hmm. Now, how long have you been playing basketball? I've been playing since sixth grade. Sixth grade? Have yeah. you been at Charter since um, middle school? Since, since ninth grade, since my freshman grade. year, yeah. Okay, so you're one of the ones that came in on the back end. I know there's some of the students that we've interviewed that have been here since sixth grade. That's crazy to be here that long. Transition from middle school to high school. So freshman year, you've been playing since sixth grade. Uh, what's the passion behind the game? Uh, well, my whole family plays basketball. I play with my sister. Mm -hmm. And we're all tall, and I just love the game. Oh, so it's because you're tall. Well. See, I wasn't going to mention your height, even though you probably can see on the screen that they're, they're pretty tall. Well, you got the size uh, to play the sport. Uh, it's good to hear that you are passionate and that you got the family behind it. I want to ask you the question, as the older sister, I'm a younger sibling, and you have your sister right next to you. What is it like to play with your younger sister? Um, well, <laughs> I've gotten used to it. Like, we're like a good duo. Like, I, I help her, she helps me. Yeah. I can't wait to what she has to say, how she's going <laughs> to answer that question. Now, Jamie. Okay, Jamie, we're going to move it over to Kat. Thank you. Now, Kat, should we start off with that question? What Let's is it, start off with it. What is it like to play with your sister? It's awesome. Yeah? Because 
you have somebody who can play with you, who knows how you play, and it's just it's a good feeling when you know you can play with somebody and they have your back no matter what on defense and on offense. Okay. And what's the age difference between? Two years. Two years. Okay. I would have said, I think I said it before, <laughs> you, you guys look like twins. Yeah. Um, you probably get that all the time? All the time. Now, how long have you been playing basketball? I've been playing since the fourth grade. Okay. So you got her on that? Yes. We started playing at like the same time, so okay. I got two years above her. So. Okay. And you, obviously, I'm guessing that you go, both are centers. Power forward. Power forward. Okay, power forward, center. Yeah, center. Don't see me in the paint because <laughs> you will get stomped out. Is that the mentality? Most definitely. Most definitely. Where's, um, where's the passion for you? I know she said with family and everything. Is it, is it, is it the same? It's kind of the same, but I think my passion comes from just loving being more powerful than somebody. Like mm -hmm. being able to be like, no scoring today. Right. That's awesome. That's the best feeling ever. That's awesome. Now, someone once told me that basketball, girls that play basketball are dangerous because that means they're smooth. You know, you put it between their legs, you know, they're smooth with their words. You guys are just an all around package. Yeah. Now, how, um, how long have you been on the varsity team? I've been on the varsity team since my freshman year. Okay. But I've been coming here since eighth grade, so. So, second year on varsity, what have you seen so far? Accomplishments? I've seen. District after district wins, regional wins, state trips after years. I mean, That's awesome. It is. Well, got the two bigs on the mic in the hot seat. Once again, we're in Coral Springs Charter. We got Miss Cat Williams and Miss Jamie Williams. We have sophomore and a senior. Make sure you check them out this upcoming season. If we don't have a camera set up, you need to be here in the gym supporting the Coral Springs Charter Panthers. We started out a little rough this season. A little rough. But we're going to come back. There's always room for improvement. Always. So we're looking forward to being, being able to cover you guys this week. Or not this week, any, any other week so we can come in. But thank you for coming on. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad we got to, to support the girls team. We hope to see you guys another championship, district championship, maybe a state championship. Maybe. Maybe. Well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, got some more athletes coming your way. We're going to take a quick break. This is the girls varsity basketball team. And we are coming back live. Stay with us.
Wow. Cannot express in words. I think I've expressed enough words already, but tongue tied, my brain all over the place. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Not only are you watching on HSBN Sports, but it is brought to you by the broadcast that you have so graciously supported throughout this football season. We have covered games from Broward to Dade County. And as you can see, the big CSC on the back of the wall, we have had an outstanding season covering Coral Springs Charter where we had the blessing to meet Mr. Chris Jenkins. And Chris, like you said, man, I might need some water. Yeah. After, after we're done. An outstanding mm -hmm. time covering, for those of you that just tuned in with us, we have covered the entire spectrum yes. of fall sports. Yes, you have. And it is the first time ever that a broadcast has ever been on during school. Yeah, brave. Brave. Uh, brave. When I found out you guys were going that route, I was thinking, that's a brave endeavor. Well, after talking to Mr. Mike Higgins, athletic director this week, he said, you know what? We can't cover, uh, we didn't get a chance to cover the championship game tomorrow, mm -hmm. but we got to put something in place. Oh, yeah. The relationship that we have with Coral Springs Charter, um, outstanding. Mike Higgins, Gary Springer, we just want to give thanks to the, uh, again mm -hmm. um, to those individuals and the entire program because without them, I mean, I don't, I don't want to make it seem bad, but getting kids out of class. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it's an educational experience. And Absolutely. That's what I want to get a chance to talk about mm -hmm. HSBN Sports being that practical education experience. Yes. Some of these kids have never been on the mic before. Mm -hmm. They don't understand. Some of them came up. A few, you didn't get a chance to see, but during breaks, mm -hmm. I mean, some of them. Oh, yeah, of course, you, of course. You, 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 you kind of have to, you know, calm them down and, and just make it seem like you're having a conversation between right. the two of you. And, you know, I applaud HSPN and, and you know, I've been on board, I was, you know, uh, at least half the season with you guys and it's it's great giving these kids some shine and allowing them to have an opportunity to uh, get some some shine Absolutely. to whatever sport that they're in uh, I didn't even know right. you know I told you guys uh, prior to going on that uh, uh, I didn't even know Charter had a bowling team so it, it's great that uh, you know these folks are you're putting a face with a name, and they're getting an opportunity to be, you know, applauded and, and recognized for what they do. Absolutely. I mean, when I came in this week, um, and once again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Chris Jenkins, mm -hmm. um, outstanding commentator. Not only does he does commentating, but just support system. Absolutely. Being able to come out the last season. We met him at one of our first rebroadcasts. Went over to Ale House in Coal Springs and uh, had a chance to uh, do our first rebroadcast. We, we broadcast the game live, and from there went over to the Coral Springs Ale House and did a rebroadcast mm -hmm. of the game. Chris came up, he was doing some filming, but we got a chance to hook up, and if you haven't watched um, any of our broadcasts this season, you need to go back in the archives because Mr. Chris Jenkins freed up some of our hands, some of our mouths. If this is your first mm -hmm. time seeing me, it's because I'm usually behind the scenes. Yeah, you're usually running around doing about 10 different things. Right, which, and, which uh, we got someone, uh, Mr. Glenn Stout, usually mm -hmm. that is in this position, but yeah. he didn't dress to impress today. Sorry, right, we'll, we'll give him a little break. I we'll take you, over. I wish we had a camera on him so you could see, but he, he didn't dress to impress today, so <laughs> we couldn't get him on the camera because we... Exactly. We wanted to... Kick this thing off. Mm -hmm. This is not only high school game day, a pregame for the football game tomorrow. Right. But it is a overview, a high school sports review of all the sports mm -hmm. that we are so proud of. Absolutely. And that we get a chance. You know, we want to get some cameras in. We of want to cover the bowling. We want to be able to cover the swimming. I mean, these guys are getting district championships. Yes. Left and right. Yes. It's outstanding. Like you said, didn't even know there was bowling. Right. And, and particularly with the amount of competition that you have in Coral Springs, uh, for Charter to do some of the things that they have done and continue to do. You know, they had uh, state championship appearance, obviously, in basketball last year and finally got over the hump, got so close last year to getting to the championship, got to the semifinals, uh, finally made it. You know, they're going to take on uh, Calvary Christian Academy. Uh, tomorrow at FAU, it's going to be a good one, right. especially if it's anything close to the way 
the, the it, it played out in the regular season. Right. You know, last 11 seconds right. comes down to uh, it was a thriller. Um, that Calvary got over the hump and won. Right. And see if uh, Charter can get some payback right. on the biggest stage exactly. tomorrow. Exactly, yeah. and it's going to be. I mean, being hanging around, it's going to get loud here, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. So we're going to do our best to get that volume mm -hmm. cranked up, and hopefully you can hear us. But they are doing the pep rally, the pre, the pre pep rally. Yeah. Uh, for the football team, they're just coming out of the gym now, and as you can hear, mm -hmm. the drums are rolling. Yeah. The cheerleaders are cheerleaders. They're getting hyped up, getting, getting excited. Up. And the reason I wanted to get you on today is because you've been following the Charter for two right. years now. We have right. an opportunity. Yeah, we're, we're based out of Coral Springs. Uh, we love to come out and cover the schools in Coral Springs. Mm -hmm. um, if you go back to the archives, we did Coral Springs High School, first game of the season versus Cooper City. Mm -hmm. But with three games under the belt, yeah. Um, that's nothing compared to the, the things that you've been able to witness uh, the past couple of years. Yeah. Like you said, you've seen the state championships on the basketball side. Yeah. But let's talk football, man. Well, just in the two years that, that you know, I've been uh, associated with this school and, uh, uh, you know, associated with uh, Mr. Springer and, and uh, Mike Higgins, uh, it's been a great ride. You know, seeing these kids mature, um, and particularly on the football side, as I just said, you know, this they came so close last year uh, to getting over the hump uh, with a state championship. And then, of course, you know, you, you always have uh, – interchanging players players leave players come and go so for coach uh, Miller coach Adam Miller to get them back to this point and, and get over the hump uh, losing their uh, starting quarterback in the first game of the season uh, AJ Miller and then having uh, David Vazola take over the reins and uh, cater to his strengths um, I just think it's phenomenal they have been able to turn turn the page get over the hump, whatever adjective, analogy you want to use to, to finally get their shine. Uh, these kids work hard, and um, it's just great. It's going to be a great atmosphere tomorrow. It will probably be close, come down to the wire. Um, expect a lot of fireworks, you know. I, I, I envy them from the standpoint of, I never got a chance to play in a state championship. I'm sure, you know, um, you didn't either, unless you told me. I, I, I did. Okay. I had an opportunity, wonderful opportunity to go up to uh, Tennessee. Okay. My senior year of high school and, and play on a state championship okay. type program and, and had a chance to win a ring. Okay. Which, which is a great experience. And oh, I'm yeah, glad yeah. You mentioned that because this whole week I've been hanging out with Charter. Got it. We've been doing interviews. Uh, they, they asked HSBN Sports to put their highlight tape up, okay. their intro for their game. So we've been relentless. Yeah. putting together film and just hyping this game up because mm -hmm. we want we know how much local matters of course um, to these students we've had the interviews if you go back to coral springs uh, tv.org and you check out the interviews in l house uh, a young man named josh paul mm -hmm. which you're very familiar with on this football team talked about the importance of his community supporting him yes now i've been doing this for two years now mm -hmm. and going down and talking to student athletes and, and here, you know, talking about their athletic ability, there's a lot of things that you can talk about. There's right. a lot of things that you promote. The first time I've ever heard an athlete promote their community. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Standing feeling because we are a part of that community. Yes. And that's one of the things we wanted to focus on uh, with HSPN Sports. We have been doing this for two years, broadcasting high school sports and events live. And big things are happening yes Coral Springs we're kicking off CoralSpringsTV.org mm -hmm. um, we're broadcasting games we are going to cover all the sports and we just want to be able for people another outlet yes for the local community to come and support these student athletes absolutely and it starts here mm -hmm. it starts here right in Coral Springs Charter uh, we thank them yeah. we thank them for welcoming us and having us come out during school yeah. and being able to have these kids come out and experience what it's like to be under the lights. Yes. What it's like to have the mic in their hand. Mm -hmm. Because they've had all these accomplishments, but I mean, other than us knowing, who else knows about it? Yeah, them? it goes unnoticed other than, you know, a few folks in their community that may support them, of course, their family, right. but this gives them a broader spectrum to be able to draw from um, and, and work, work toward goals. Um, 
So, I, like I said, I just think it's great. Yeah. I think it's great. Well, school is getting out right now. I'm sure you can hear the rattling in the background. <laughs> yeah. You hear people. I got people waving at me. Some old friends. Mm -hmm. As a former Panther myself, right. I wasn't going to mention, but I am a former Panther myself. We got some football players that are ready to get on the mic. Mm -hmm. We got a former athlete. Like I said, we got some pictures hanging above. Darius Butler, Justine Landy, mm -hmm. and Evan Landy. Those pictures mean yes. so much to the school. Mm -hmm. And we know how much it means for those that went here being able to come back yes. and give back. Well, we have an athlete here today, a former student athlete, Antoine Thorpe, that played at Coral Springs Charter, went and took his talents to the University of Massachusetts. Okay came home you know he's working out he's trying to stay in the business of football got a free education mm -hmm. that paid for, mm -hmm. which is awesome yes now he's looking for bigger and better opportunities mm -hmm. and guess what we get him on the mic today yeah and we're going to find out what he's got in store for us mm -hmm. but we are going to jump to a break once again you are watching coralspringstv.org we are here in coral springs florida coral springs charter high school we got kids running around. School's getting out right now. We've had an outstanding time so far. We hope you're still tuned in with us. And when we get back, we're going to highlight free game. Coral Springs Charter Let's do it. takes on Calvary Christian in tomorrow's championship game. Stay with us. And welcome back, folks, to high school game day. We are here from, live from Coral Springs Charter School in Coral Springs, Florida. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. We're going to talk football now as we've got the state championship and two of the contenders, two of the man cogs in the wheel. Introduce yourselves to me, to, to us real quick. Uh, Marco Solera, senior O lineman, uh, number 72. Okay. Junior quarterback, David Vizzola, I'm number 12. Let's start with you, my friend. Okay. Well, first of all, congratulations to both thank of you, you guys. Thank you. Um, it, it, it took a lot for you to get to this point. Obviously, you got so close last year and didn't get over the hump, but you retooled and finally were able to get over. You're playing uh, Calvary Christian Academy tomorrow for the state championship. Just talk to me a little bit about the feeling in getting here. Uh, like you said, it's last year we didn't make it, and uh, I think this season we kept the feeling of how we felt, like, how he felt after last that last game mm -hmm. and that kind of fueled us to do better so that we could get to the point we are at now um it just feels great to know you know to finally get to your your standard as we put it yeah um and it's just very exciting and you know it's, it's a great feeling being a senior and being one of the leaders for this team was there any pressure trying to get back to this point or did you guys take it one game at a time what was the strategy what did coach uh, Miller say to you guys to keep you focused game after game to get back um there's always pressure when you have the leaders from last year leaving and you have to fill their shoes mm -hmm. well yeah we just took a game a uh, game at a time one game at a time coach Miller always tells us to uh progress each week don't worry about being perfect just progress okay um just stay focused, execute, um, do your job, and it'll all come together and you'll be successful. What have been some of the major highlights for you throughout the season? Any, personally or yeah, as per a team? Personally and as a team. Um, I mean, obviously the major highlights being at FAU now. Of course. Uh, other than that, Highlights. No, that's, that's that's the main highlight for me. I mean, I play for my team. As an old lineman, you can't really have right uh, specific highlights. But every game, every every win mm -hmm. was a highlight for me. Okay. Okay. Now let's let's switch over. Let's talk to Mr. QB David. Um, I'm sure it was probably a little bit of pressure um, coming in with AJ getting hurt. So what was the mindset for you? What, what did you tell yourself? What were the coaches telling you as you stepped into the role with the spotlight on you and to keep things moving to the level that you had? Well, it was kind of difficult to 
just come in out of nowhere? Because I was thinking I was going to play defense another year as a right. linebacker. But coming in and thinking all we have to do is win. It doesn't matter how we do it. I don't care if I hand the ball off every single play. If Kalen mm. could score every play, then we're going to win. Mm -hmm. So that's about it. Just coming in and doing what you have to do to win. Now, how much did uh, Coach Miller and the staff <coughs> tailor things to your strengths? Oh, a lot. They Well, first we were running more of like quick pass, but now we put in the read option, the triple option, because mm -hmm. I'm... I'm going to say stronger at running than throwing. Got it. And it just benefits me and the team because that's how we're going to win, running. How long did it take you to settle in? What, um, what, what, what was the transition like, you know, going from backup and, and focusing your energies on defense, like you just said, to be just kind of thrown in there and you got you to gotta keep it rolling. You got to get it done now. Well, the last time I played quarterback an entire season was ninth grade on JV. So wow, okay, yeah, there's a big difference JV quarterback to varsity starting quarterback. Yes, especially with the expectations being what they were for you guys. I mean, you guys weren't expected to do bad. Oh yeah, you wanted to feed off the momentum that you got last year. You know, getting to the semifinals. So yeah, it's funny how everyone around the city, even my friends from other schools, all say. You guys aren't going to be any good. You lost Joe, you lost Ross, you lost Steven, you lost Ralph. But then we come back and we get to the place that they couldn't get to. Wow. We, so, I, so actually the expectations were lower. I thought they oh would yeah. still be high with a lot of you guys coming back. You being a junior, you being a senior. So the expectations were actually lower and you guys surpassed them. Wow. That's got to be a great feeling. Talk to me a little bit about that. It's always difficult to step in someone's shoes that they left. Yeah. And because we went eight and two last year, we thought we only lost one team twice. But it's and then losing, we kind of started our season four and three. If you think about it, uh, American Heritage Del Rey, Coral Shores, two straight losses, and then we come back and then we lose to Calgary. So everyone's thinking already. We don't have a shot at the championship, and now look where we are. FAU. Mm -hmm. Getting to redeem ourselves against a team that we only lost to by one. Let's, let's, let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's talk about tomorrow. You guys face a Calvary Christian team that you lost to in the, it was less than 15 seconds, 11, I think maybe 11.7 seconds yeah. I, I saw on the clock. Just Dude. a heartbreaker. This is for either one of you guys. Talk to me about facing them again and what the mindset is. You, you got to want to get over the top. You, you're chomping at the bit to get at them. Yeah. So what's, what, what's the thinking going in into first. facing them? Um, I think, like you said, chomping at the bit to get at them after losing by one point, of mm -hmm. course. Um, but I don't think last time we played them, we were on our best game. So I definitely feel that if we execute like we know we can okay. and like we have been doing since that last loss, mm -hmm. it's not going to be the same game at all. Well, especially considering you guys led three quarters of the way through that game, you know, and then they get a final drive going. You got a, a big field goal uh, from your, your kicker. I think his career long. Well, Full cool career long. 47 yards. School record. Yep. So that, that's an ace in the hole for you. But for you guys to have, you know, led and, and then for it to end that way, it's got to be gratifying to some extent to be able to get payback on the highest stage. For sure. Yeah. Well, talk to me about making your first appearance. I don't want to add extra pressure to you guys. I mean, it, you know, but the school's only been in existence for around 14 years, you know, and you guys got so close last year. What are the coaches telling you to keep you guys loose and calm going into this game? This is for either one of you guys. Well, the coaches said that no game is ever bigger than us or the team or any individual. It's always a team game. And if we play to how we can play, mm -hmm. then we will win and we will be successful. Okay. That's, that's pretty simple. Well, talk to me as we wrap things up uh, about what, 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 what your goals are for you in particular, being a senior, uh, college aspirations, what, what, what do you want to do? What do you want to do with yourself? 
Um, I've been asked this a lot. I, I definitely want. I want to play at a higher level. Um, I don't know where yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm still hoping, you know, to get some to be recruited further. Okay. By other schools, maybe. I don't know. But uh, for sure. But if not, you know, it's it's been a, it's been a nice ride. Oh, absolutely. Yes. And uh, to finish this way is no better feeling. How about you, David, uh, moving forward? Obviously, you got one more year, but this is something great to build on going back into next year. Are you going to focus uh, defensively, offense, just where, wherever? Or I'm just going to about it. I haven't put much thought into it. I'm going to do whatever the coaches need me to do to win. Mm -hmm. I'm the long snapper. I'll take that to the next level. Okay. I don't care. Gotcha. I want to go D1 or Ivy League or D2. I don't care. I just want to go play in college. Okay. Well, it's been great talking with you, fellas. Uh, I'm, I'm so proud of you. I, I actually told Ryan I envy you guys because, you know, I, I played on the college level but never got a chance to taste that state championship. So you guys are going to be able to, to get over the hump. I got confidence in you. And, folks, you definitely want to tune in. Uh, they're going to be taking on uh, Calvary Christian up at FAU Stadium for the Southeastern Football Conference State Championship in Class 3A. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with more. Keep it here.
What an outstanding day it's been so far. Once again, we welcome you to Coral Springs Charter High School. Awesome day we've had covering all the fall sports programs. I mean, from bowling to swimming, but ultimately we finally made our way up the ladder to the football game tomorrow. This is high school game day, bringing you some big time hype. We just got done interviewing some of the top athletes at Coral Springs Charter. You got to see Chris Jenkins with David and Marcos on the mic. Now we have the special privilege. We were talking about former athletes and the importance of athletes and students to be able to come back to a program and give back and support those that are walking the same path that we walked not too long ago. Mr. Antoine Tharp, we welcome you to game day, high school game day. Thank you for having me. Glad to, glad to have you on, on, the, on the mic. Glad to have you under the lights. Um, people want to know, you know, what, what have you been up to, man? You went up to UMass and uh, you came back home. Not too much under the radar. We've seen you, you pop in and out a couple times, but you got a, some interesting things uh, going on with yourself. Let, let, let's talk about it. Um, definitely. Um, going to UMass was a great experience for me. You know, I had to come back due to injury. You know what I'm saying? It's a real blessing, though, to go up there and complete my four years, you know. But, you know, due to injury, I had to come back up here, you know what I'm saying, and just get my body back right, my mind back right. And then I'm going to attend my pro day this following season. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm really looking forward to doing that. Well, once again, we're glad to have you on here. Uh, for those that don't know, um, I had the privilege of playing with Antoine uh, a couple times back in, back in the high school days. But as a former student athlete of Coral Springs Charter, um, outstanding athlete on the field, outstanding, outstanding student um, off the field as well. Let's talk a little bit about what does it feel like to be back in the hallways uh, of the old school? Oh, it actually feels really good, you know what I'm saying, just to walk back through here, you know, having flashbacks, you know, all the great times and all the great opportunities that this school has presented to me, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's a very big blessing, you know, coming back through here really reminds me, like, what it's all about, right. coming back and giving back to what helped you get to where you are today. Now, you went to this school, you came in as a freshman, was it? As a sophomore, I went to Miramar first. Okay, so you came in as a sophomore, what were... Uh I talk to Marcus all the time, Marcus Tribble, uh, one of the defensive coordinators uh, for Coral Springs Charter, and we got him on an interview during one of the games, and he goes, man, I loved coming to Charter because it was so diverse. Yes. Now, coming from Miramar, that ain't anywhere near Coral Springs. No, it's and not. That's, that's down the road. Yeah. And uh, talk a little bit about your experience coming up to Coral Springs and being a part of a program like Coral Springs Charter as a sophomore. Um, the transition was definitely different, you know what I'm saying? It's not never, having a different transition is never a bad thing, you know, seeing different things, meeting different people with different types of people, you know, it's always, you have to always take advantage of all that, you know what I'm saying? Just taking it all in and just really just maturing as a person and growing as a human being, you know? But it's definitely something that prepared you for the next transition to college. Now, you went to University of Massachusetts. Yeah. I, I can never say, I feel like I say it wrong every time. UMass, we'll call it UMass. Yeah. Um, I love it. I go into Adams, Coach Coach Miller's office. You got the picture up on the wall. Yeah. And I had a chance to follow you during your seasons and, and your time spent there. Uh, what was the What was the transition like? What was the decision making process in, in picking not only a college but university, uh, UMass? Well, with me picking my school, I wanted to really go somewhere where. They were all about me, where they really wanted me. You know, you got to go somewhere where you feel wanted, you know what I'm saying? They showed me the most interest, showed me the most love. So, you know, you got to go with your gut feeling and do what's best for you, you know what I'm saying, and your family. So that's what came in with me picking UMass. And it was a real blessing for me to have a scholarship to go there. Yeah. Now, four years, what did you end up studying? Um, psychology. Psychology. Yeah. Uh, reading minds and all that stuff. Yeah, um, something like that. Picking minds, stuff like that. Stuff like that. Well, I tell you, I tell you one thing. Uh, my two years being home. Uh, from college and yeah. being able to work with uh, student athletes and being any type of mentor. I know one thing is I learned off in college, you're in the business of people. Yeah. And one thing that we really try to implement in what we do in not only our mentorship uh, through the Keeping Dreams Alive Foundation, but mm -hmm. through HSPN is be able, is, is the opportunity to put a student athlete on a mic. Mm -hmm. And the importance it is for them to be able to articulate themselves in a way um, because you know, they, they need to understand what the sales pitch is going to be like. Mm -hmm. You know, you were a great athlete, 
you were a great student. But mm-hmm. at the same time, you know, the, there's other things outside of being just a football player mm-hmm. and a student. Yeah, definitely. You know, coaches, t- let's talk about the recruiting process. Uh, you know, what the coaches outside of your athletic ability, what were they interested in? Let me know when they recruit, they want, they want to know about your family, like what type of lifestyle you're living, you know what I'm saying, how close to the buns, how you treat people, you know, all that goes into that, you know what I'm saying? They just want to give a bad person a scholarship, you know, you have to be a good human being as well. Right. Well, once again, you know, the, the journey, it never ends. Yeah. Um, you got some things that, that we want to highlight today as, as a former, you know, we're, we're part of this community, yeah. you know, not just part of the schools, but, you know, you train in this community, you train at the parks, you know, you, you got family, you know, whether it's blood or, you know, at, at the school. Let's talk about, the, you know, you said you had an injury and you got some things coming up mm-hmm. uh, pretty soon. But what's the, the goal uh, from here on out? Um, the final goal, you know, is to make it to the NFL, you know, if not, go to the CFL, you know, just keep playing the sport, you know what I'm saying? You're getting paid to do something that you love to do, you know what I'm saying? That's always a big blessing. In any way that you can help your family and give back to the people that helped you, right. it's always a big thing. Right. Now, you got a video, man. I got to talk about the video. Yeah. That video, I mean, it's just between the, I think it was a James Brown. Yeah. You got the, got the James Brown and, and everything. Ladies and gentlemen, if you get a chance, you got to look at this video. It's all over social media. You can find it at HSBN Sports, other places you can find it. The video. The Vimeo, yeah, people were sharing it on Facebook. It's right. a whole different ways. Twitter, right. everything. You find anyone that, that's a part of Coral Springs, any type of athletics or anything that we're doing, we're, we spotlighted it. But it's, I'd call it the day in the life. Yeah. I forgot the title. What was the name? The Grind. The Grind. Yeah. You're waking up 5 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. It's just walking you through the day. Mm-hmm. And um, from from that video, what what is that video? What Not only is it to show, you know, what you're doing, but what do you think that does for the athletes that are walking the same path that, that you walked? Well, the message that you want to, that I wanted to send from that video is that, you know, at the end of the day, no matter what you're doing, you're going to have to grind for what you want. Right. You're going to have to wake up early. You're going to have to work. You're going to have to go out there and just go get it. Right. You're going to have to make it happen. Nothing's going to be ever given to you. Right. And that's just how life is. Right. Now, one of the most important things that, that we love to do is being able to grab um, figures like yourself, a public figure, mm-hmm. that, that we consider you in this community and say, what kind of advice um, that, that you would want to throw at to be able to share like I said, we're, they're going to the championship tomorrow. And, you know, just them to see you walk in the hallways, it's like, you know, seeing, you know, a Darius or an Evan, yeah. you know, come in these hallways and someone they look up to you. Mm-hmm. And they are someone, you know, they, they look up to you and, and they see you and they say, that's what I want to be like. Mm-hmm. Any advice that, that you'd throw out there for these guys? Well, it's, it's, it's honestly very simple how I see it. It's just see it, believe it, and go get it. At the end of the day, that's what you have to believe, and that's what you have to go off of. Because at the end of the day, if you believe in something, there's nothing that can stop you from doing it. Well, once again, Antoine, it's always a pleasure seeing you. It's Thank always you it's me. always a pleasure, you know, having you on the network. Um, anything that we can do to help, you can always find his stuff, his videos, uh, all over social media. You can find it on our page. Um, you can find it on uh, Vimeo. But we thank Antoine for coming out here, being a part of such a great program here at Coral Springs Charter. But we understand the local community and how important it gives back. And Antoine definitely fits into that equation. So we thank him for coming out today. And we thank you for your support. Uh, we wouldn't be here at this, this awesome you know, prep, pep rally uh, situation today without your support and those that we've touched and those that we've mentored through KDA Foundation. So ladies and gentlemen, once again, I call him Twan, Antoine Tharp, coming out of Coral Springs Charter, a product of this community giving back, giving advice to these student athletes, but also a product, university, UMass, I'm gonna call it, coming home, we're gonna see him at the next level and we're gonna support them all the way through. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take a quick break and when we come back, we're gonna wrap this game day up for tomorrow's big game, Coral Springs Charter versus Calvary Christian. What an outstanding day it's been so far. Once again, Ryan Stout alongside Chris Jenkins. You've seen a lot of people hit these seats today because a lot of people are a part of the success of this program, of this wonderful school, Coral Springs Charter in Coral Springs. This is, we are live. We're live in the lounge. We had the pep rally. We're getting ready for the game tomorrow. But 
brought to you by HSBN Sports, mm -hmm. doing some amazing things uh, in Broward and Dade County, and our first live stream on CoralSpringsTV.org because local matters. And it is a witness. Everyone that has been a part of this broadcast today, it is a witness because local definitely matters and the community matters. I just want to give a shout out uh, before we wrap this thing up to all of our partners that have done an outstanding job for us um, this season with HSPN Sports. Not just me as an individual or yourself as an individual, but for the idea yes. and, and the, the mission that not only KDA, Keeping Dreams Alive Foundation, the, the mission that they're on, mm -hmm. but all the supporting entities um, that are all part of the success. And uh, Bleacher.com, Lazaro, big shout out. We want to show our appreciation. All the graphics that you've seen this season mm -hmm. are because of Bleacher.com. You can also check his website out. Like I said, Bleacher.com, B L E E C H R. Dot com. You can check his website out. You're going to find everything that you need to know. If you're either a coach, you're just a fan, a parent, if you want to know something about your school and the football program that mm -hmm. happened this season, you just tune in to Bleacher.com. I'll tell you, we're tag teaming all the, all the way through. You know, he does football. Uh, we're, going to, we're going to cover all the sports. But thank you to uh, Lazaro at Bleacher.com. Also, FloridaHighSchoolFootball.com. That's Florida HS football.com that's josh wilson up there in northern florida giving us that statewide coverage mm -hmm. uh, social media ha has really blown it up um, averaging a quarter of a million reach every week on social media why it's because of our partners and florida high school football is definitely part of that success of course and yeah. done an outstanding yeah. job also florida varsity Dot com, which is also Rivals. Mm -hmm. um, outstanding relationship that we have with Mike uh, opened up this season to provide that content, to provide more exposure, which yes. is ultimately what we're trying to accomplish. So we give him a shout out to those guys that have just done an outstanding job. Also a shout out to Keeping Dreams Alive Foundation because it wouldn't be possible. I mean, none of this. And that's why I'm, I'm here. That's why I got involved. Right. You know, and, and based on that and, and it's yeah. it's with individuals like yourself um that's that keep this engine running and for those of you that are tuning in for the first time on coral springs tv dot mm -hmm. or hspn or bleacher anywhere that you're tuned in um to be able to express um all the the success and the emotions that we have because once again, KDA, it's, it's the heartbeat. It's the yes. lifestyle that, that keeps this engine moving. Yeah. And to be able to put a spotlight, it's not about just setting up cameras and, and putting these kids up there and, and driving traffic. No, no. This is about empowering youth. Absolutely. And preparing them for performance success mm -hmm. in the classroom, outside on the field. And if we can, with the technology that we have, mm -hmm. as you can see, if you could only see our setup that we have today, yeah. It will blow you away. Yeah. It will blow you away with the technology. Oh, absolutely. That's in place. Well, what, what better venue to, to get the word out about uh, the foundation um, than to come to a school that's competing, right. doing big things. Um, we've spotlighted that. We've talked about it. And uh, these kids are going to be on the biggest stage tomorrow right. trying to get over that hump. 14-year um, existence, uh, as we spoke to earlier with the, the athletes, and um, I'm excited for them. Yeah. I'm just, it's just a great opportunity for them to display their talents, and um, hopefully they can get it done. Go yeah, Panthers. Absolutely. You know, we, uh, we try not to pick sides, but when you're involved with a, a school that welcomes you, yeah. like Charter has welcomed our programs, and like we said before, we've covered many schools in Broward and Dade County. Oh, of course, yeah. We've worked with schools since uh, 2006. Mm -hmm. um, I've been a part of the foundation since 2010 after mm -hmm. I graduated high school, came back as a as sort of a motivational type speaker to talk yeah. about my story. But gradually, the team just gets bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we pick up people as we go. But Charter, not only I'm a former Panther myself, mm -hmm. but um, we'll, when we're welcome, into schools, we take advantage of it. And uh, also, again, big thanks to uh, Gary Springer, um, Mike Higgins, athletic director, yes. director for uh, welcoming us 
into this program and just really laying out the red carpet. Oh, absolutely. I mean, your thoughts on today? Well, overall. It's just, well, it's just been a great day. It's a culmination to a great uh, end of the season in football. And it's, you know, HSPN, as you know, you've talked about, has, has you know, covered the gamut in Dade, Broward County. But it's got to be extra special for you coming back home as a former Panther, you know, and to be able to, to see these kids um, do what – I think they're going to do right. tomorrow against uh, Calvary Christian. It's a uh, it's a great thing, right. and the fact that uh, we've been here to cover the gamut of sports and and spotlight bowling, which we talked about earlier. I didn't even know they had a bowling right. program. Um, talk about basketball. Talk about some of the other sports. Uh, it's great, you know. Give these kids an extra shine. It's what uh, your foundation was started to establish, and I think it's great. Well, some of them surprised me. You know, some of the athletes that came up. Um, not saying that the bowling athletes are, you know, shy mm -hmm. or you know they're any different from any other athlete. But some of them surprised me coming up. Yeah. And they kind of gave me this look like I've never been interviewed before. <laughs> I don't know, what, what are we mm. going to talk about? Mm -hmm. And just like we did, you know, even some of the football players that yeah. we've covered all year. Yeah. You know, David, mm -hmm. I'll call him out, David Vizvola. Yeah. It cracks me up because, yeah. you know, he's saying, I said, it's not nervous, you're excited. Yeah. And I'm glad you're excited, you should be. Mm -hmm. And uh, for them to be able, you know, get it out of their system. Yeah. This is our opportunity to get it out of their system yes. now. Yes. Yeah. Know, so they can prepare we can prepare them for the next level, mm -hmm. regardless of it. Someone like a Tuan where he says, hey, I want to go to the NFL. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot of media coverage and there's going to be a lot of negative media coverage. Yeah. And they're going to ask you questions. Mm -hmm. We know how it works. We watch it every Saturday. We watch it every Sunday. We see it throughout the week. Yeah. And you can find it on your hip. It's that close. You can access it uh -huh. at any time. And we understand the, the negative response you get from a media pass and the positive. Yeah. But what we're trying to accomplish here is that positive response. Absolutely. And these students, they can get in front of the lights, they can get on the mic and, and talk about themselves. Yeah. Because we want them to be the ultimate salesman. Of course. I tell them, you want to be the filet mignon. Mm -hmm. You know, because there's someone out there, they're looking for you. And if you can't sell yourself, you know, you're in the business of people. I agree. I don't care what you do, you're in the business of people. Mm -hmm. And if you can't hold a conversation, which a lot of people bring up the conversation, mm -hmm. not even face-to-face -face on social media, about social media. Yeah. And how it's taking away from the interaction. Oh, I agree. Yeah. No question about that. Yeah. So they're, they're, that, it's, it's funny because they started the conversation, but they, they don't even do it face-to-face. -face. They do. Oh, it yeah, over, yeah. They do Everything's through text, they do through, through tweet, text tweeting, stuff. Instagram, all so, of that. You know, there, there's nothing. We're not going to downplay anything. And, and we, you, we take advantage of our social networking. And we yeah. take advantage of, of all the media. But if there's any time we can put a spotlight, and that goes for everyone out there that's mm -hmm. watching today, um, whether it's in Coral Springs, whether it's in Delray Beach, or wherever it is mm -hmm. across the state, across the nation we have viewers around the world right that tune in and if i can get a flight out there shoot we can set up any time and we'll go live but gotcha. um, that's what this is all about we are glad you could tune in today we are looking forward to not ending the season mm -hmm. but starting a new one yeah you know we're leaving the fall season behind like you know we covered we covered all the sports teams today yeah. bowling swimming volleyball let's open up this door let, let's let's roll out this carpet ladies and gentlemen stay tuned for mm -hmm. the upcoming events because like i said we're here we're in, in charter and and we're going to start in charter tuesday night once again we got a big rebroadcast probably one of the the, the coolest things that we've done and it's going to be not a rebroadcast of the game we, we're not going to shoot the game live um but we're going to have a post game got it if you're in if you're in coral springs head out to wings plus Brian Walsh has welcomed us with open arms, and we're going to set this, the highlights. Hopefully, I get on the field tomorrow with a, a camera and grab some highlights of the game, and uh, we're going to we're going to run it. Wings Plus. So if you're in Coral Springs, you're watching. Make sure you head out to Wings Plus this Tuesday. But ultimately, let's wrap this thing up. And I'm going to go with. Let's go. Let's. Even though we don't want to be biased. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're in, at Charter. Okay. And, and you know, we, we support the schools that support mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. But let's go predictions. Wow. It's, watched, it's like... You've watched them all season. It's like I was telling uh, the fellas when I spoke to them. If, 
if this game tomorrow is anything like that regular season game, mm -hmm. it's going to come down to the wire. You got two teams that want it. Um, Charter wasn't expected to be here, right. you know, particularly based on what I heard from their quarterback, uh, David. Um, so that speaks volumes for them to get back to this point. I think they're motivated. I think it's going to be close, but I, I'm not going to give a score, but I think Charter's going to pull it out last second. I think they're going to get it. Okay. Well, I kind of threw you under the bus because I'm not going to pick. I got you. I'm not okay. Gonna, I'm not going to pick. But I'm going to tell you one thing. After hanging out with Charter this whole week, mm -hmm. I didn't have a chance to go out to Calvary. But after hanging out with, uh, with Charter this week, I think they have the edge because of the loss. Oh, absolutely. That's all I'm going to say. That's a, that is a motivation to end all motivations right there. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, that's yeah. all I'm going to say about that, and that's uh -huh. all we are going to do for today. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. It is a pleasure being able to put up a live stream. Uh, on CoralSpringsTV.org, mm -hmm. uh, produced and brought to you by HSBNSports.com. Graphics today, uh, special thanks to Bleacher.com and to all of our supporters. Thank you for tuning in with us today. Uh, we can't wait to cover more of these sports. You saw the fall sports, a wrap-up of the fall season. We're welcoming the winter season. We got basketball, mm -hmm. girls and boys. Yep. Uh, track is just around the corner. So make sure you stay tuned with us. We're going to see if we can get live games back to back to back, as many as we can. Chris Jenkins alongside Ryan Stout. This is CoralSpringsTV.org, produced by HSBNSports.com. We will see you Tuesday night. Thank you.